ready to go other one. Say hi. What's up guys? Welcome back to Seeds of B and G. Alright, we're out here another wonderful Saturday morning. And look at that. I got the blade on the mower. Um, what are you doing? I mean, what, what are you doing? Is this something up under there? Don't let nothing run from under there, man. You better bark or something. Alright, got the blade off, got to keep checking now, got the blade off and on, um, Brother John, the preacher from the church, let me actually borrow his, um, his step now here, so I can use my air drill, and I was able to get it off and on and no, with no problems, this one here, this is a new-ish blade, but as you see, it's loose, and it's, it's because the, uh, the spindle here was broken, uh, I noticed that the top is busted off. It's supposed to curl all the way up to the top and kind of keep it nice and snug. But the top cracked off. It shouldn't be wide mouth like that or open like that on the top. But I'm going to get one of those replaced. That's not actually what we're working on today, but I am happy that I got that done. Oh, and on another note, this morning I came out here to get the shoes on. As soon as I stepped out the door, there's a snake stretched out from from the wall all the way over to this rolling um, to this measuring wheel, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I yelled and ran racket right back in the house. I might put it on the um, I think I got part of it from the ring camera that I'm gonna put on. Um, if I remember, I'll put it up here. snakes it didn't make it I fed him to the pigs that's how that went that's not what I'm working on today what I'm working on is actually the sides of the pool I'm gonna try to backfill only maybe from from here over to the steps maybe I probably won't go no further than, than this section right here but I need to make sure that this wire I don't know if y'all can see that copper wire that copper wire that goes all the way around there needs to be up only four inches from the surface. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. It needs to be up four inches from the surface all the way around. Um, they pulled it up right here when they ran it just to show the inspector that we know where it's supposed to be. But because the pool was dug in 36 to 38 inches deep, um, we're going to have to hold hold this wire up when, when they backfill. Um, like I said, I'm only going to do this portion over there where we actually get in the pool. So we're going to have to make this incredible jump or straddle the pool and get on at the closest point, which is about right here. So that's what we're going to work on today. And then a little bit later, AJ and I are going to go into the water and see if we can stabilize the steps with another 100 pounds of sand. Um, that way they won't be prone to move at all. Right now they're, they move a little bit, and that is 100 pounds under them right now. They said you could fill this thing up with sand, but the hole that they gave you to fill it up with sand is only about um, as wide as the soda mouth open, open uh, the soda bottle. So you imagine trying to put four, I got two in there, 250 pounds of sand a soda bottle open. There's a whole lot of shaking and it, it wasn't working out well. So we abandoned that plan. We're trying to come up with our own. But that's what I'm going to be working on today. Might get some video. I'm going to try to get Alicia to get out here and uh, give me a hand real quick. At least just holding up the wire. So that's what we have. Y'all stay tuned. All right, good people. I'm burning up. I'm hot. As you see, I've added the dirt. I went around and made sure that this ground wire is no more than four inches down. Probably need another scoop or two right here in this area. But I 
I'm tired, I'm hot. Not gonna happen right now. Filled it in all the way around. Need to go back and put a, a good grade on it, but I'm gonna let the uh, professionals come in and do that. He's gonna backfill a little bit more. I still don't know if I'm gonna bring that dirt up closer to the edge to make more of a, of a slope away from the pool. Um, filled in this area right here. This was the hardest part just because this is where the bulldozer came in and out of the circle. So it was a little bit wider and deeper and you know it braided all the way back so that he could get out. But we got it up. That's about close to half of the pool. I let the professionals uh, like I said finish it up. Next time you see us we might be in the pool. Water is uh, tested. It's good to go this morning. AJ and I still need to put those over 100 pounds down there. Get the little floaties blown up. We're good to go. Build in this hole over here. Little satellite back in and you know, maybe end up putting some more dirt down. But as of right now, we're good to go. I need to get something and buckle this down. And make sure it goes back there in those little slots. This is for the light. There's a LED light across the way there. You can't see it, but it's an LED light in there. And we're good to go. Water looks good. It's filtering. Things looking good. I'm going to stop the white one here. It's not the white one here because it's not how I'm going to close it. I'm going to point that down to where it's not making the bones on top of the water like that. What's up, guys? Here we are back out here <laughs> in the water. Everybody's playing. I got to get under here and work on these steps and this sand. So I think that the white bar that goes across on the back has come loose. So I'll have to get in and worry about that one as well. But here we go. Let's make it happen. Uh, I think I got a solution. I'm going to take this yellow ribbon or this yellow bungee tie and move it towards the front. And then I'm going to be able to place two... 50 pound sandbags on top of that and then put the 100 pounds of sand that's in the bucket on that back bar and hopefully that'll keep it solid let's see All right, guys, everybody else is playing. Alicia did come over and help, but this is what I got so far. Keeping it pretty much right there. I don't know what else I could put up here to add some more weight. Maybe once the deck gets built and I'm able to secure them to the deck board or to a stake or something, that'll be much better. But that's what we got right now. Let's go play. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Feels great. She's crazy. I mean, in the water. <laughs> it's something about the sand in the water. You know, it's good. I feel like Andre. Yeah. Go get me some video. Okay. Right there, go. I do want. But that's it guys, it's about 11.30 or so, let me see. Actually I lied, it's close to 12. About 12 o'clock, got the mower fixed, need to spray it off. I need to actually get out here and um, pressure wash this side of the house. I realized that we did all the front, all the way over to the back porch, and stopped right here. So I need to get around here. Um, at 12 o'clock we still don't have any sun on the back of the house here. So all that dew and mildew or whatever just stays on the house pretty much all day. This is like the shadow shade spot that pretty much stays this way majority of the day. Here's our chicks. Chicks are getting pretty big. I would say they're about two, three pounds. They need some food right now. I'll give them some food. Big chicks are staying in the shade. Pigs are back there chilling. All right, that's all I have right now. Y'all please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all come back now, you hear?